this. Hmm. All right, this is a creepy kind of doll. What else do they have here? Please have something interesting. Oh, here's some Funkos. Uh, no, pass on those. Some cows. What else do they have? A whole bunch of bells. Some plates. And what are these? That's a cute little plate there. Live simply. Maybe we'll have better luck in the picture department. Let's see. Anything interesting? Any nice artwork? Hmm. That's a pretty picture. So check these out. Aren't these cool? Some of these are sealed too. They look like they're from either Disneyland, Disney World, or Disney Cruise Ships. Look at this. Disney Cruise Line 2013. Some of these are sealed. Very, very cool. I think they're all photo albums is what they are. Here's one from 2012. And this one's open. This is 2011. So this one's a little bit cheaper. It was $7.99. Um, I think those other ones were $14.99, the ones that are sealed. Here's another one. Oh, Disney World Memories, another photo album. Super cool. And you know me, when I go thrifting, I need to check out the purses, see if they have any good deals on some brand names. You never know. In the past, I've found some really, really nice, cool, this is actually really neat, I like that, it's pretty. Um, I found some really nice brand name purses for a great deal, so I always, always have to check. So I thought we'd head over and check out the movies, see what they got. It looks like somebody got rid of all their TV shows. Oh, what's this? G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. <laughs> oh, wow! Oh, let's put that back. <laughs> Bad memories of that, eh, on the Oscars? Anyways, it looks like somebody was a uh, TV show collector and handed in all their TV shows. Look at this. Friends, South Park. Um, what else do they have? Simpsons. And they're all in excellent condition. Look at all the Simpsons. So, yeah, somebody brought in and donated all their TV shows. But I did find actually something really cool that I want to show you in the cart here right away. Um, look at these. It's a whole series of Looney Tunes, the original Looney Tunes. Isn't this cool? And then how about this Tom Hanks' special edition of Forrest Gump? It's like a box of chocolates. Isn't that cool? <laughs> My mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. This is really neat. What a neat find for a collector. Very cool. So this portion of the video, I have to do voiceover because there was actually a kid that was screaming in the toy department and I do not want your ears bleeding. So sorry, I just took out the sound and uh, yeah, we'll just have to do voiceover just for this section, just for the toy section. So just taking a peek at all their cars, buses, they had this Elmo. He was huge, actually. It was quite big on the bottom shelf here, but he had some grime on him or something. So gross. And just some more vehicles. And here's some more of the toddler toys. And this little house was kind of cool. And how about this? That brings me back to when I was a kid. I remember those, that little alligator piano. So cool. And just some more of the baby toys, toddler toys, Fisher Price, Leap Frog. Let's check out the display case now, see if there's anything cool. Uh, oh, that's a nice Kate Spade purse. I like that. Alien. What else? Can I spell? Some Star Wars book. I don't know what that is. Oh, some, ooh, that looks like oils. Hey, let's check out some board games. We haven't taken a peek at some of the board games in a while. How about this? DVD Bingo with Dora. SpongeBob. That looks fun. Perfection. Oh, I loved Perfection as a kid. One of my favorite games. Twister. And it's a cool little abstract puzzle. What else do they have in here? Anything interesting? Oh, how about this? Isn't this cool? National Geographic. 
Very cool. I like the cover of that. And Uno, Sesame Street Uno. Wow, that's kind of neat. I like that. I love Uno. Very cool. And hey, check this out, what I found on an end cap. These are for, I believe, the Sega Masters game system. You do not see this anywhere. <laughs> very, very rare. So Kung Fu Kid, 1999. Check out these prices, though. They are insane. This is actually, I checked eBay, and they're actually selling on eBay for these prices. So these are not thrift store prices. They are eBay prices. But they're very rare and hard to find. There's Dead Angle. Look at that. $39.99. And there's some, some of the gameplay there for you. Very old school. Super rare. I never see anything like this. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever seen these games at a thrift store. And look at, they are complete too. Isn't this cool? So cool. I wish they were cheaper. How about this one? So PGA Tour Golf. How about that? $4.99. That was a little bit cheaper, but yeah ebay prices everyone but so cool rare never see that never very cool but i think i will pass on these today they are way too overpriced hey bed sheets everyone no we're not looking at bed sheets <laughs> i want to show you this pillow this is so cute it's a mini mouse pillow and it's huge i just want to show that to you i thought it was really super cute all right so we are back from value village and my goodness we did well today. I don't even know where to start here. <laughs> we have an awesome haul to go through. Let's just start on this side, I think. Let's get the clothes over and done with. So I ended up buying a pair of these uh, black sweats. I think they're more like lounging, kind of like sleepwear. Super, super soft and lightweight. Those were, uh, let's see if I can, there we go, $4.99 for those. And then just a pair of like sleeping shorts. And those ones were $2.99, that was a great deal. And then this t-shirt here has the nice little lace kind of collar, v-neck collar on it. And it's actually still, let's see here, it still had the original tag on it from the store. So they wanted $7.94 for it. <laughs> so it's brand new and I got it for, $6.99, so brand new with the tag still on. And then this cute little Old Navy t-shirt I got for $6.99 as well. Just something very light, lightweight for summer coming and just some beautiful little black and white flower print on it. I thought that was really nice. And then I found these awesome Tom's shoes. Look at these, they were $11.99 and they're like a brown suede or a, a kind of like a light brown, more of like a caramel color, I guess. And they're suede and they are so, so comfy. They are amazing. So I had to buy those, love those. And let's continue up this way. Uh, my son bought a few games. He found actually, can you believe it? A Nintendo GameCube, Madden 2005. You do not find Nintendo GameCube games <laughs> thrifting. You never, ever see them. You see a lot of the Xbox ones and that, but never GameCube games. So that was a great find. That was only $2.99, too, for a GameCube game. That's awesome. So that one, and look at that. And it is complete. Yay. And then he bought, looks like Formula One for the Xbox 360, 2011, for $2.99 as well. And that one is also complete. And we got Test Drive Unlimited for the Xbox 360 as well for $2.99. And that one is also complete. And one final Xbox 360 game, it's Halo. And that one was a little bit more, $4.99 for that one. And that one is also complete. So great finds, complete games there. So those are the video games. And then I picked up this super cool, look at this Lego set. It is still brand new, factory sealed on both sides there. Look at that. And it is a wedding scene. Look at that, a bride and groom. And I checked it actually on eBay and sold listings are anywhere from about 45 to $50 for this set. 
and we paid $7.99 for it. So that was an awesome, awesome find. Look at that, I'll show you the back of it. So I think I probably will be putting this together one day, so stay tuned for a video on that, unless I change my mind last minute and decide to sell it on eBay. We'll see what happens. I don't know, I might sell it on eBay or I might just put it together on the channel. So stay tuned for that. Um, the box is kind of scrunched there. It has some wear on it. So I'm not quite sure if I, I don't know, we'll see if I try and sell it on eBay because the box has some pretty, pretty big dents in it. So we'll see what happens, but isn't that a cool set? Really good find on that. And then we'll go up to this area here. So these were those Looney Tunes DVDs that I was showing you in the store there that we had to pick up. It's the complete series. There's six DV or I guess six, uh, six, uh, I guess, I don't know what you call them, volumes, sorry. Couldn't think of the word. There's six volumes for the complete set. So this is actually the complete set. All six are here. And it's all the old Looney Tunes that I grew up watching as a kid. So this one, for example, is volume one. And they were each $5.99. I'll just show that to you, try and zoom in there. Um, so they're completely restored. They've opened the vaults and they're all your favorite Looney Tunes episodes on there. I just love this. I used to watch it all the time. Saturday morning cartoons, right? So there's, that's, um, sorry, I'm getting a bit of a glare. So that was volume one. That's volume two. And then we have volume three. And volume four. And volume five. And volume six. There we go, the complete series of that. So that was a super cool find, love that. And then we just picked up um, a movie, Space Camp. And my son needed a couple of um, seasons of Family Guy to finish off his series there. So there was season 13 and it looks like volume 12, the 200th episode, there we go. And so this one was $7.99. And $7.99, and I do believe I told you all the Looney Tunes were $5.99 each. Space Camp was $2.99, so that was a good deal. Yeah, I believe I, yeah, all the, all the Looney Tunes were $5.99. So that was that. And then I found a whole bunch of books to read on my channel, so stay tuned. You will be seeing videos on all these books coming soon, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And stay tuned for these, these uh, books coming soon. So I'll just go through, through them really quickly and I'll show you the prices because the prices have gone up on kids' books. It is ridiculous. You used to be able to get all kids' books were $1.25 each. And then if you buy four, you get the fifth one free. They still have buy four, get the fifth one free, but they are all individually priced now. And some of the prices are just insane. So I'll just go through them quickly. So I got Wonder Pets there. So that one, uh, if I can zoom it, try and get that. There we go. $3.49 for a soft cover book. Can you believe that? So look at that. The regular price is $3.99 US, $4.99 Canadian. So it's pretty much almost what it is brand new. That is insane. I don't know why my camera keeps going out of focus here. But bear with me here. Um, and Eric Carl, this one is, or sorry, Eric Carl, this one is a hardcover. So that one actually wasn't too bad, $1.99, I guess. Uh, Bob was $1.99. Uh, Pinkalicious, I don't think I've done a Pinkalicious yet on my channel, so I thought I would try it out and see how well it does. That one was $1.49, that's a little bit better. Then I got um, Pete the Cat, too, to try on my channel as well. That one was $1.99. Um, Wiggles, I thought I would try as well. Mind your manners. And this one didn't have a price, so she charged me $1.99 for it. Um, another Peek the Cat train trip. That one, ooh, that one was priced at $3.99. I didn't realize that. 
That's crazy because the other Pete the Cat was only $1.99. Oh, Magic School Bus Inside the Volcano. I think she charged me $1.49 for that one. And these ones were pricey. I got two Leapfrog ones. I'm going to try those out. Um, we got Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type. And the other Leapfrog is Giraffes Can't Dance. So let's see what those are like. Um, Backyardigans. Oh, sorry. And the price on those. Those were each pricey. $4.99. They're both $4.99. Yes, very pricey. Um, this one was $1.49. Another Wonder Pets, $1.49. Monsters Inc., $1.99. Up, $1.99. And then this huge Eric Carl Around the Farm. It's a hardcover book and it's a look and find. So there we go. So. That'll be on my channel as well. And this one too was $4.49. So yeah, the prices are insane for kids' books. Like that is ridiculous. I'm sorry, but shame on you, Value Village, for charging basically cover price for used books. Sorry, but they're kids' books and they should be the dollar twenty-five like you guys used to charge for them, not you know, four or five dollars for a used book. That's ridiculous. So I'm very unhappy about that. And yeah, not, not too good. So that was all the stuff from Value Village. I have some bonus footage. We did uh, stop quickly at Goodwill as well, just to see if they had anything. They just had a few video games. So I'm just gonna go through those quickly with you. They had this Sims 2 for $6.50. And this one sells, actually, it's sold on eBay anywhere from about $40 to $50 as well. So listing. And this one is, I don't know if I'll be able to open it with one hand here. Oh, there we go. It is complete. It's got the booklet in there and everything. So it's complete. And yeah, so selling on eBay for anywhere from $40 to $50. So that was a good pickup, I think. I'll probably list that one. And then a PSP game, Ghost Recon Predator, that was $5.50. And this one is also complete. It's in excellent condition. I checked the disc there too. And then yellow tags were on sale. So there was a couple of yellow tags here. Um, there was Fallout, New Vegas. And these are all in really good condition. I'm not gonna open each one of them, but they're all complete in really good condition. So that one was half price. And then we got Darkness. That one was also half price. And these ones were just regular because they're white tags. So white tags just kind of stay as white tags. <laughs> they're not colored tags. So we'll, they basically will never go on sale because they don't put white tags on sale. I'm not sure if white tags mean that it's new, new items. I'm not quite sure. But Anyways, regardless, when something has a white tag on it, it never goes on sale. So it'll be regular price. So we got another Xbox 360. We got Fight Night Round, th round 3 for $5.50. And a PS3 game, Dead Island Riptide for $6.50 as well. So those were the items we just purchased quickly at Goodwill. We just like I said, we just did a really quick pit stop just to kind of see quickly what they had, more so for game-wise. Um, but yeah, I just took a really quick look around and they didn't really have much and they're very, very pricey. Um, I prefer Value Village. I find Goodwill extremely expensive and yeah, so anyways, that's some little bonus footage for you guys. So that is about it then. So like I said, that was an awesome haul today. We did very well thrifting today. I hope you enjoyed coming along and seeing all the cool stuff that they had. It was nice going thrifting again. It's been a while since I've been out thrifting, so it was nice sharing that with you. So if you want to see more of that, please subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to check out some of my other playlists and videos. I've got an assortment of everything. Check it out. And until next time, take care, everybody. Thank you once again, and we'll see you all in the next adventure.